Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about calculus. The topic today is about double integral. So now I want to show you how to answer. In this one, we can use about polar coordinates. So s we need to change by r cosine theta. Y we change by r sine theta. And we know that we have r in here. So we have dr and we need to change by r dr d theta in here. The small r in here represent about this one. And the next one, we see that we have s square and y square. This one we can change into 9 square minus s square plus y square. About this one, we need to change by this one in here. So all square, all square, we can do about factorization, and we have cosine theta square plus sine theta square, and this one equals to number one. So we have all square. So that means this one we change by all square in here because this one equals to number one. Now, we need to put the bounds for double intervals in here. So, they just provide the hint for theta. So, dr in here, that's the form here we change by this one. About the R, they just row 5 in here from 0 to number 9. So we put 0 and number 9 in here. The theta, they just row 5 the hint in here. So that should be about from 0 to B over 2. And now we need to calculate about this one. So R multiplied by R square and number 9. So this one, we have 9 R square over 2. This one, we have R to the power of 4 over 4. And we put the bounds from 0 to number 9. So number 9, I will put in here. Number 0, I will put in here. And we have, so we have bubble tune here, I forget. So this one, we have 6,561 over 4. And then we have the theta in here. And now we have the final answer. And this one, we have 6,561 B over number 8. This is the end. Thank you for watching.